Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am so excited. Today is bead auction day. I have been waiting all month for this. I started doing something different with my bead auctions from now on until whenever. I am going to list all the beads that I have made for the month. Do that all on one day and let all the auctions run for a week. That way you can bid on what you want and combine the shipping to save money and you don't have to feel like well, gee, what is she going to have in a couple days? Maybe I should wait. Now you know the next lot will not be up until April 1st. So I'm going to show you a sneak peek of what I have, and I also want you to stay tuned because I have an awesome mixed lot in this one. This is just so fun and exciting for me. I hope it is for you, too. I'm just, I'm weird about beads. First, the auctions will be coming out today, March 1st, at 4 p.m. Eastern. So please don't go running to my auctions right after you watch this, if you're watching it earlier, and ask me where are they. 4 p.m. Eastern, my time. I don't know what your time is, but you need to wait a little bit until they come out. And if you're watching this in the year 2020, please know that the auction has ended. <laughs> That's the only thing about YouTube and content that's not evergreen. People like will watch something and then act like it just happened and it could have happened years ago. Let's look at the beads. I have quite a variety, I believe 20 packages. We've got some like this. I'm not going to go into too much detail because I just want to show them to you. I do love these. I did those with highlighters. These are hand painted. I like these. I like them all. I can't help it. This magazine page. A picture of a shirt. Look at my nice new little rounded barrel beads. They're just littles and they can be spacers. Ah. My plaid. You guys that saw the plaid ones in a previous sneak peek loved those. These guys. These guys. Some little itty bitty black and white stripes. These guys. Ooh, nice purple and black barrel beads. Lots of aqua. This was like tropical leaves that I used. These that I made, I colored those myself. And these are my favorite so far for this month's batch because they look like terracotta clay, like little terracotta clay pots. It was orange construction paper that I drew, I believe, circles on or something that I painted on. When you look at the auctions, if you click the images, if I have the pictures available, I will show you what the paper looked like before I cut it. I have a batch of doodle beads. Me, me doodled. Some pink with lines. Almost done. These I call tapered tubes. I just love the way those came out. And last but not least, these were hand painted with glitter. That's what's going up. Those will all be individual auctions. But now let's look at the mixed lot. I did have to adjust the starting bid of the auctions. They're not a penny now. They're going to be 99 cents. And the shipping is going to be $3 for the first lot. And they're only 25 cents after that. I had to do that. That just covers my shipping and all the fees. So if something sells at 99 cents, I make absolutely nothing off that, and I'm totally content with that. I just love to make the beads, and I know there will be some that will go up, so that's just gravy, although I don't eat gravy. I try to keep my auctions as cheap as possible because I just want you guys to have fun bidding, but yet I don't want it to cost me $2 for every single thing I sell. But as long as I break even, I'm happy. And there are a lot of fees with eBay, in case you don't know. There's luckily no more listing fees. When I did eBay back in 2000, there was listing fees for every single thing you listed. My listing fees alone for a month were about $300. And then they keep a percentage of the sale price. Now they also keep a percentage of the shipping cost. That's because a lot of people used to start something for really low and a, with an enormous shipping charge to try to avoid fees. So now you get charged on the shipping also. And then PayPal has a significant fee up front and then a percentage after so much. So again, 99 cents for these and the, one pack 
because it has to ship as a package because I want to wrap it properly with, with bubble wrap and stuff so they don't come out all flattened out and squished. In order for me to do that, the cheapest shipping is just under three dollars. So that's why I charge you guys three bucks for the shipping, but then only 25 cents after that. Now for the mixed lot, you're going to have 100 beads and since this is something new that I'm doing I am doing it as a penny auction just to introduce the mixed lot of beads I think you guys are gonna like this the shipping for the entire mixed lot is still three dollars and it can be combined with these so like if you win the mixed lot and one of these you're gonna pay three dollars for the first one and then only 25 cents for the second one are you friggin kidding me I have to count now, make sure they're all there. <laughs> Hang on. I can't believe how long it took me to find the beads that rolled everywhere. <laughs> but they're all there. I can't remember at all what I was going to tell you. But let's just look at the beads. About these beads, some of these are like leftovers. For instance, let me show you an example. There's one right here. When I cut the paper, for instance, for these beads, I had them a certain width. There was a little strip of paper left. I don't waste that. I made a little bead that matches these, but I don't put it in with this because it's not part of the set. So that goes into my odd lot of beads and somebody will win it. And that's what a lot of these are. Then there's others that for whatever reason, I thought they'd be cool when I rolled the magazine pages and I just wasn't in love with them. So, you know, stuff like this, I mean, it's a perfectly good bead, but you can see I didn't bother to trim the edges like I do sometimes because I knew it was just going into the odd lot. And some of these weren't glazed, but I did go ahead and glaze them all. And for instance, if you win these and you see something that's not perfect on the end, you can just go ahead and trim it. Others uh, are just, sometimes I just have scraps of white paper and I just draw on it and I roll the bead. Some are just experiments. Some are things that are, you know, not perfect. They were just like I was practicing. Like I'm not in love with these big tube beads, but they're pretty. And sometimes you look at the end and you say, eh. but when that's put in a necklace or whatever, it's fine and dandy. And if you are someone who does a lot of jewelry crafts, you can always get the, um, what do they call them? That you put on the ends of beads. <sighs> There's a name and I know it and I just can't think of it right now. Let me show you some of these and I'll show you some pictures at the end. Just a nice variety. You get 100 in all. So you get four little bags like this. It's like a trick or treat bag. So you've got a doodle bead in there, I see. This is from my previous doodle beads that I had. There's a little one that was left over. We have some little beads, like look at this little guy. This was just an experiment. And it was cute, but oh my God, it would take me forever. Just a little bead, it looks like a little piece of candy. You know the candy that comes on the elastic, like an elastic necklace? Oh, this is the one. In here, there's one crossword puzzle bead left over. It was smaller than the others. I have the pictures of every single bead on that auction. 10 beads per picture. So please go look at all the pictures and then there's one of the whole lot which I will show you at the end of this video. I think that's all I want to tell you for now. I just hope so much that you enjoy this. I'm looking so forward to having another big batch for the beginning of, I never know where we are, April. I already have some started and now that I know I'll be doing the mixed lots, I might be throwing some special ones in there too. These are perfect for the kids. They'll have so much fun making friendship bracelets. Just buy them some elastic and let them string it, tie it, nice bracelets that they can share with their friends. If you bid, good luck and I hope you win all the ones that you like. Thanks so much for watching. Bye! And the the link is down below. So go check out the link or you can find me on eBay as Darlene Michaud. Remember, 4 p.m. Eastern Time. My time is when these go up. So I have a tote bag on eBay right now, too, so please go see that. You will like it. If you have nothing better to do, and I'm assuming you don't, please check out one of the videos that you see here on your screen. Thanks. Bye.